Hi everyone, Jason from Makera here with another introductory video for CNC manufacturing. And in this one, we're looking at how to operate our CNC machines safely. CNC mills like the Carvera and the Carvera Air come in all shapes and sizes, though safety features may vary quite a bit from machine to machine. CNC machines like these work through a subtractive manufacturing process, which removes material using cutting bits, creating shavings and dust during the machining process. Additionally, there are a number of fast-moving parts that could be potential hazards if not properly used. But don't worry, in this video we're going to overview some crucial tips and operating procedures so that you can use your CNC machine safely and make incredible projects. The first thing to consider is the machining environment. Both the Carvera and Carvera Air are fully enclosed, which makes them well suited for any environment as shavings and dust are contained within the work enclosure. CNCs which are not enclosed are typically more dangerous and you must ensure that you wear safety glasses and identify an operating perimeter or a boundary whenever that machine is in use to ensure proper safety in your work environment. Dust is also a hazard if inhaled or not properly handled. So you always wanna operate with a dust collection system when machining soft materials like woods or plastics or foams, just like the one included in the Carvera, or by connecting an external vacuum system. There are some instances where a vacuum system may not be applicable, like when machining metal, and in these instances, we rely on our enclosure in order to keep our working environment safe. When machining metals, the shavings are quite hot and a method of cooling should be used to reduce possible burning or fire risks. The air assist system on the Carvera does just that by blowing a constant stream of air to clear the hot shavings away from the machining area. And we can also utilize bits like a single flute spiral O-bit, which would provide better cooling during the machining process. You can learn more about choosing different bits like the spiral O in another one of our getting started videos. And in order to ensure safe operation, setting up our machine machine and setting up our manufacturing projects is incredibly important. You always want to make sure that you're using the correct machine profiles in your CAM software and that you simulate your projects before manufacturing them. Additionally, we suggest running complex projects using softer materials to test our designs and our settings first as discussed in our choosing stock video. And as you load and handle your cutting tools and your bits, you want to make sure that you handle them with care because they're sharp. You want to make sure that they are sharp and not broken, and you also want to make sure that they are in this correct order that corresponds with your CAM program if you do have an automatic tool changer like we have here on the Carvera. Should a bit become jammed or not released properly in the Carvera's automatic tool changer, the machine will detect this error and stop automatically. In addition to handling these bits safely, ensuring that the speed and feed settings are correct for the material and bit chosen also will create a safer machining environment. This will not only reduce potential damage to your machine, but also foster greater success with our projects as discussed in another one of our videos. When you secure your stock to your machine, you want to make sure that you always use a piece of spoil board or waste material below it to protect the bed of our machine. We also want to ensure that our stock is clamped securely so it does not release or move while machining, and that our clamps are also as low as possible and away from the area where we will be machining so that we do not cause an accidental collision with a clamp. The scan margin feature on the Carvera and Carvera Air will trace the perimeter of our project before we start to machine it. And this allows us to check the position of where we're going to be machining, as well as visually see if there might be a potential collision with a clamp before the machining process starts. You can learn more about all these different features in our How to Secure Stock video. And whenever you start a manufacturing project, we always want to monitor the machine closely during the initial calibration stages, as this is typically where something might go amiss. Watch the scan margin steps, ensure that the probe touches the stock to measure the height correctly and that it does not collide with any clamps, and if something doesn't look right, stop the machine and adjust as needed. We also recommend that you do not ever leave a machine unattended and that you monitor the progress throughout the machining process. And when working with laser engravers like the laser module built into the Carvera or the one available for the Carvera Air, we must ensure that fumes are vented properly and that we protect our eyesight using the correct laser protective glasses or use a laser protective cover on our enclosure and canopy. Visit our YouTube channel or wiki site for more information, guides, and tutorials on how to operate your CNC machine safely. And please don't forget to subscribe. And of course, thank you for watching.